Technical skill is a huge factor, especially now in the World Cups with such technical courses. I started racing in high school and I didn't have a lot of technical camps behind me or, or big, you know, opportunities to practice that. So I was playing a little bit of catch up racing against the Europeans who are accustomed to those really technical tracks and also to variable weather and, and really intense race days. So for me this year with Freshia has really been about going back and learning how to master even just cornering and how to come out of those technical features feeling confident and picking really fast lines and being able to just kind of get those extra couple moments of momentum that really make a difference. Most important, I think, is pre-riding a World Cup course. There's like here in Lenzerheide in particular, uh, so many different lines to take and for a younger athlete like hers, it's uh, not having 20 years of mountain bike experience like I do have now. Uh, sometimes you have to help her to find the line or at least discuss different lines or uh, possibilities. Question, could you even go there? Mm -mm. No? No, because um, you could, can, but you, you're no, breaking no, here, you yeah. slow down there, and you want, uh, important is that the, the speed in that hole is as high as possible, because that will shoot you up there. You can pedal in a bigger gear, and that's where you make the seconds, not in the corner itself. For me, over the past seasons, one of the focuses has been on mastering not only the different technical features that I might encounter on a course, but also being able to do them under any circumstances. Not too fast, not too fast. Oh, that was too, that fast. Was too fast. Doing the bunny hop, as, as I explained to you, you can't be too fast. Okay. Or you do a full bunny hop, which like means it. like at full speed, you kind of lift up your front wheel and then you don't really uh, let your front wheel drop okay. down on the log. Then you, when you're in this position, you can also jump, but then you kind of like fly. I think when we're out training, one of the really valuable things about having someone like Frishy watching you is that they're so tuned into what you look like on the bike and what lines you're taking and, and where you could be getting speed in a way that you can't do for yourself. Me knowing her quite well now on a technical level, riding skills, and also on the on, on longer rides, I. I, I can tell the way she sits on the bike and, and the, uh, just by her face, I know what's going on in her brain and uh, it takes quite, quite a lot of feel to sometimes get it into the right direction, but uh, usually she receives that very well. At races, I think it becomes a bit more of a collaborative process. You know, we'll go, we'll walk, we'll look at things and, and try to find the best solution. And I think that's actually one of the most fun things we do at races is, you know, just enjoying that process of looking at, oh, could this line be faster? Could this line be faster? Analyze what option might be the best. When I get to race day, I know that we've looked at everything and that I'm confident in the choices that I'm making. And I think with technical riding, confidence, strength, and power makes the biggest difference. I love the time in the gym. For me, it always just made sense. It was a complimentary way to build strength and power and work on some things that you actually can't even work on on the bike. So I think some things are complimentary, leg strength, explosive power. Those things really translate to my power on the bike. But other things like doing the balance balls, doing kind of plate flipping, like all these fun random exercises that we come up with are meant to challenge me in different circumstances. And I'm a big believer that on race day, the more circumstances that you can respond to well, the better that you'll perform. Difficult. Kate Courtney inside the top ten at the moment. 